Previously I showed you how to do a stage 1 remap on a Mercedes Sprinter Euro 4 engine. Today I'll be showing you how to do a stage 2 remap onto the same Sprinter. First thing we're going to do is open the software we're going to use. Like before we're using ECM Titanium. Once it's open click browse and locate the original file. Open up the original file and browse the database. If you remember from the previous video, this automatic search didn't find the driver, so what we're going to do is click abort search and manually enter Mercedes Sprinter in this. And click search again. Now you've got all of the drivers. The correct driver for this ECU is Bosch EDC 16 CP36. This can vary on the car or the sprinter that you're working on. Uh, the ECU number you can get from the ECU that's under the bonnet on the left hand side. So double click the driver and click yes to save it onto the database and you'll have all of the maps showing up again. First we're going to go into the injection map. Previously if you remember correctly we increased it by 6% for stage 1. What we're going to do for stage 2 is increase it by 8%. This can vary depending on how you want to do it. Um, you can basically for stage 2 you can do between 3% to 8%. Uh, that comes down to how you want to remap the car yourself. Um, the maximum you can take it for stage 2 is 8% and minimum you have to increase it by 3. You can fit it around with the percentages and see how which one works best for you. So same as before we're going to select 20 load and 1000 revs. Make sure you press the percent button and click page. press page up. That's increased by 1%. We're going to do the same thing. Skip one row and one column. Increase 1% again. And keep going until we increase the total value to by 8% done on this data set so we can close this and move on to the next one the next one's another injection map so we'll open it and do the exact same thing 20 load and 1000 revs increase it by 1% each time so that by the time you end it's a total 8% increase going gradually from 1 to 8 That's the last one that takes it to 8%. That's the last one that takes it to 8% in total. You can close this and make sure to save and press OK. Now we've got the rail pressure. In the in the stage one remap, we increased it by three percent. In stage two, we're working with four percent. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the percentage down to 0.5. Press the percent button, and the data set is always the same. You need to remember this, and it's critical that you select 20 load and 1,000 revs. So increase it by 0% each step this time so that you can get a gradual change throughout the map. We won't do 1% because that will just finish the data set here um, with the 4% increase altogether. 
what we want to do is have a gradual change throughout the whole map so at the moment it's increased by 2% and we'll keep going until we can get to 4% in total that makes it 3% next data set makes it 3.5 and the last one makes it 4% increase altogether and we can close this and we've got another rail pressure map so we'll open that up press enter to go into the map and follow the exact same process so that we can get a good map out of this making sure to leave equal gap on each side and pressing page one and pressing page up to increase the values each time and now just one last one to make it 4% in total and that's done so we can close that make sure to save and don't override the other ones we've got another one for injection and as I said before this is going to be 8% so we can put the percent back to 1 press the percent button and select the data set that we're increasing it by and just follow the same principle I've told you about before so that we can get a good map that doesn't cause jumps within the data and that's this map ready as well we can close make sure to save and now we've got the fuel during acceleration map press enter to go into the map for stage 2 we're going to increase it by 5% this can vary unlike the fuel rail pressure map unlike the rail pressure map this can vary this rail pressure map has to stay at 4% flat you can't fit it around we're going to keep it to 1% on the percentage here because there's not much space to work on so we'll just increase it in 5 steps only so that we can get a 5% increase which is most of the map so it should work perfectly fine once that's done we can close this and move on to the next one the lambda sensor maps as I've said before we're not going to touch that's something that's that doesn't need to be fiddled with along the bottom we've got another rail pressure limiter we'll go on to that and increase that by 4% as well select the loads it's really simple just make sure to get all of the data set that you need once that's done you can close it and the rail pressure is done now we're going to work on the turbo pressure limiters for stage 1 it was between 0 to 6% or 7% for stage 2 it's between 4% to 10% we'll work with 10 so press enter and select the data set that you need press page up to increase it by 1% because we've got a large data frame here so it goes all the way to there and we've got a lot of frames down here we're going to keep it to 1% so that we can get the 10% in total so we select the next data set and increase it by 1% and we keep going until we've done everything and we've reached 10% as our total increase seven percent eight nine and ten that gives us our gradual increase and this map is ready and we've got all of these maps here we need to do all of them individually so we move on to the next one 
and do the exact same thing as we've been doing with 1% increases each time That makes this map ready and we can move on to the next one. And exact same thing here as well, 1% each time, 10% in total. Once that's done we can close this as well and move on to the last one. That's this one ready as well, and I've noticed there's one more pressure limiter. And we'll do the same thing here as well. Increase it by 1% each time. And I've noticed this one's not as big as the other maps so what we'll do is right at the end with that revs at its highest as I've noticed on this map there's less space compared to the ones before so we'll take it as high as we can Here is the maximum we can take it to for a gradual change that makes it a 9% increase which is close to 10 so we can work with that that won't cause that won't cause any big issues and now the last maps we're going to work on are the torque limiter maps stage 1 was 35% and stage 2 is 40% so what you need to do is go on the map and make sure the percentage is at 40. Click the percent button and select the whole data set and press page up to finish this map and move on to the next one and the exact same thing, press enter to go onto the map select the whole data set and press page up to increase it by 40% for more videos make sure to like and subscribe and have the bell icon active so that you can get notifications when I upload more I'll be uploading a stage 3 remap for Mercedes Sprinter and a few other cars as well so stay tuned and thank you for watching.